Hey guys, Rai Movie Guy here. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And I wanted to bring you a special review. This took this took a lot of thought because I wasn't sure what to talk about. There's a lot of great films to discuss that relate to this holiday. Um, I could have talked about the movie Valentine's Day, um, but I wanted to talk about a movie that I actually do like. Um, I know that film has its audience, but I did want to talk about something that means a lot to me as it does to a lot of other people. And I thought to myself, what film is having like a special anniversary or has something significant has come around? Um, and I thought about it. And the thing that hit me the most, a rom-com that whenever it's on TV, I have to watch it. Um, a lot of my friends, um, a lot of my friends who are into cinema appreciate this film. And... I just thought it was a no-brainer. Uh, I had to talk about When Harry Met Sally. <laughs> so, yes, this is from uh, a phenomenal director, Rob Reiner, who was on a complete, uh, one of the best streaks, I think, in, in my opinion, a director has ever had in the history of Hollywood. Um, this is came out in 1989, so it's going to come up on its 35th anniversary. Um, and, yeah, this is just a really, really special movie. Of course, it's written by Nora Ephron, and it stars Billy Crystal, Meg Ryan, Carrie Fisher being among the cast. And the, there's a lot of great people that make special appearances and stuff like that. Um, and so just to give a synopsis to those of you who haven't seen it, it's about these two people who are mutual friends or they're friends with other people. And they have this road trip back from college. They go to University of Chicago, I believe, or they go to school in Chicago and they're driving back to New York City. And the film is about their relationship blossoming over the course of 12 years. So they start off hating each other. They start to tolerate each other. Then they actually start to like each other and become really good friends. And then, not to give it away, but they fall in love towards the end of the film. And to me, this is just one of the most natural, beautiful films I've ever seen. Like I said, Rob Reiner at the top of his game. Um, huge huge streak in the 80s. He's coming off of uh, This Is Spinal Tap, Stand By Me, The Princess Bride, then he goes to this, and then a year later he does Misery, and uh, and then after that, I, well, A Few Good Men was a classic, and then he did North, which I think kind of ended his streak, but you know, he kind of kept the moment going for a little bit after, um, but that's, that was probably his greatest um, track as a director. Uh, Nora Ephron is a natural talent, uh, one of my personal favorite screenwriters and a friend of the channel, Anna LaDuceur, who's been on the channel before. Um, she is she cites Nora as a huge inspiration for her work. Um, and of course, I, I love her stuff, not just because we're friends, but I can't wait to see what she does in the future. Um, and yeah, uh, this is just one of those films I think everybody can latch on to or relate to. Um, they're, these two leads, Harry and Sally, are written as real people, and the romance isn't forced at all. It almost is like a real relationship. Uh, sometimes you just need a little warming up to somebody. Um, it shows that not everything is going to work out squeaky clean. Um, and most of the best romances and rom-coms do that, but in this case, it really shows, of course, it's timed out to be a film to release in theaters, but they do time it out in a way where it's like, you believe that this would happen over the course of several years. It doesn't just happen like that in an instant. Um, relationships like anything else take time and you really have to commit to that and uh, develop something if you want to take it seriously. Um, but yeah, going back, this is really, this is one of those films that anytime it's on TV, I'll watch it. I will watch the entire thing. It's not just a comfort movie for me. I really do think that I get a lot out of this. Every year that I mature and grow as a person, I feel like I'm falling in love with these characters and I feel like I have evolved since the last time that I've seen it. It's a special film. Um, the New York City setting, of course, it's kind of like a gimmick at this point, but New York is a character in and of itself. And yeah, I really think this is just a magical film it's something that I think everybody uh, should check out. If anything, if there's any nitpick, uh, my buddy Nathaniel and I agrees that, uh, you know, maybe it it was too inspired by Annie Hall. And maybe it's a little too similar, um, but I think it works on its own. It has its own identity. It's not trying to be a Woody Allen film. But yeah, When Harry Met Sally, classic film. I'll probably elaborate more on my feelings in a bigger video, but if a movie wreck for Valentine's Day, this one. Anyway, guys. Take care. Happy Valentine's Day.